Um, our next uh, speaker this evening, um, I guess you'd have to call him an Ohio success story, and this is going to sound familiar to you if you're from Putnam County. He's a small town kid who worked on his family's farm. He was an Eagle Scout who enlisted in the Army in the 101st Airborne and went on to become a Green Beret. After coming home and finishing his education at the Ohio State University, he ran for the Ohio Senate in the district that used to be held by Democrats, won and served two terms. And while in the Ohio Senate, he was known as the election senator for his work in reforming Ohio's elections laws and for authoring the legislation that will provide state funds to replace our voting equipment a measure that is vital to a county like ours. Uh, in our case, it's saving uh, the taxpayers of Putnam County something like uh, 350 dollars to $400,000. So it was a very significant thing, and he had a lot to do with that. I was privileged to work with his campaign here in Putnam County, and frankly was most worried about his race, not because of uh, anything that uh, Senator LaRose was not doing, but because the Obama people and the Holder people and the Soros people and the whoever people uh, were pouring millions and millions of dollars into his opponent's coffers. And in the end, he wound up uh, defeating her soundly, not just in Putnam County, but statewide. Um, you remember those shenanigans back in Florida last November? Um, Broward County staying out for a couple weeks, that kind of stuff? That's not going to happen in Ohio, and it's not going to happen in, for one big reason. It's because Frank LaRose is Secretary of State. So, well, thank you, Tony. Thank you for your leadership. Thanks so much for all you did to help with, with my campaign. And it's great to see that the GOP is alive and well in Putnam County. I was just think, thinking as I was sitting up here, I hope uh, that the fire marshal here in Lipsick is a Republican because I think we may be pushing the limits on this room, but this is a great thing to see and uh, it warms my heart. So thank you. That's my primary message tonight. Thank you for believing in me as a first time statewide candidate and for allowing me to continue serving. Uh, two months ago, I raised my right hand and took another oath, and I had done that before in my life, but this time my oath was to run elections for the state of Ohio and to do so in a way that would make you all proud, and to make sure that we run elections with integrity, where the voice of the people is the voice that's heard. Uh, when, when, uh, when, when I was in the weeks leading up to the election, a lot of the pollsters said it wasn't, it wasn't winnable. They said I was behind by four points, according to the polls. Well, as we proved, it's not the pollsters that get to decide, it's each and every one of you and the God-fearing men and women of this county who work hard and, and earn a living and went out and voted for me, uh, put me over the top, and I really appreciate that, so thank you so much. You guys know how to pick them, too, and so I want to compliment you on sending Rob McCauley and sending Jim Hoops, as well as Congressman Latta, to represent you. Uh, thanks for, for doing that and continuing to send great people to serve you. Uh, I had the chance to visit the Board of Elections earlier, and I do want to uh, highlight uh, real quickly the work that uh, the folks do at the Board of Elections and everybody that works the polls on Election Day. So if you would, if you work at the Board of Elections or if you work the polls on Election Day, please raise your hand so that we can recognize you. There you go. It's a long day, and we're always looking for more poll workers. It's, uh, it's difficult work, but it's, it's so important. I also want to recognize another group of people. I have the, uh, I guess, the privilege of being the only, uh, quote, young Republican serving on the statewide ticket because uh, for one more year I qualify as that uh, designation. And I want to recognize our, our young people. And the way that the Young Republican Club defines that is 40 and under uh, because these are the, the, not only the future of our party, but they're very much the now of our party. These are the worker bees that are out there knocking on doors and helping us staff in the headquarters. And so, uh, and a lot of times they're outnumbered. Uh, even in counties like this that are predominantly Republican. And so uh, we need to recognize our young Republicans. So if you're 40 or under, would you please raise your hand? And we want to recognize you as well. So I always joke, most people don't know what the Ohio Secretary of State does. Many people think that the Ohio Secretary of State's in charge of negotiating peace treaties with Michigan. I can assure you. That is not my job, and even if it was, I would never negotiate peace with Michigan. It's a promise. No. What I do, my office is responsible for two things that are fundamental to our way of life. Fair elections and free markets. Think about it like this. Any new business starts at my office, and whether it was my great-grandfather, an Italian immigrant 80 years ago, who sent his paperwork to Columbus and waited for it to come back, and weeks later when he ripped that envelope open, it said, LaRose, you're a business owner now. Wow. 
That's the American dream, right? Or whether it's right here in Putnam County where tonight there may be a woman that's going to go online on the Secretary of State's website and she's going to fill out a few fields. And she's going to get notice back from us just four hours later that she's going to be a business owner and she's going to live her American dream and start and grow her business. That's an am amazing thing. My office is where that all starts and we're going to continue to make Ohio a great place to grow and start a business. That's a promise. One of the other things that, that my office does, of course, the thing that you're, you're, you're most often going to hear about my work on is elections. Um, and uh, as you heard the chairman say, there were a lot of people that, that cared a lot about my uh, that cared a lot about my election, not on my side, but supporting my opponent. People like George Soros and Barbara Streisand, who don't know where Ohio is, <laughs> but she was sending money here because she knew that uh, that was a way that, that she could help uh, her side. Let's talk about her side for a second, because uh, have you noticed how far off the rails the Democrats have gone? I was thinking about the, the, the legacy of that party and how former Democrats, great people like John F. Kennedy would probably roll in their graves when they see people talking openly about socialism and not batting an eye. Talking about infanticide and acting as though it's some sort of a constitutional right. Exactly. The Democrats have gone off the rails, and they've forgotten us here in the Midwest. And you know what? We need to embrace our friends out there that are coming over to join our party. We need to make sure they know that they're welcome here. And just because you may not have seen them at Republican meetings before, we need to welcome them with open arms. Here's the way I described it. I was speaking to a group of union plumbers a couple months ago back on the campaign trail, and I said, you know what? The Democrats, they're so busy focused on who uses what bathroom, they've forgotten all about the men and women that build them. And that's all of you. And so we need to embrace working class people into our party. We're going to continue working with your Board of Elections to make sure we run fair elections in Ohio. I've got a partner in that endeavor, and I want to introduce you to a young man who works with me and represents this, this part of Ohio from my office. His name is Jacob Huner. Jacob, where are you? Raise your hand if you ever need anything as it relates to elections or, or business formation, or if you're looking for somebody to come out and speak to your Rotary Club or whatever else, make sure to contact Jacob and we'd love to do it. Uh, in conclusion, I just want to say thank you so much. The, the, the heartbeat of the Republican Party, as, uh, as Rob was saying, is, is in communities like this. And so thank you so much for all you're doing to keep our party and our nation strong. As we know, elections have consequences. That's why we work so hard, work so hard to keep them fair. And uh, when, when, we, when, when we win as Republicans, we can govern as conservatives and we can do good things for our state and for our nation. Thanks so much, everybody. God bless.